Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Good morning everyone! I say morning <laughs> It's actually just, that was the loudest sneeze I've ever heard in my life. Bless you. Anyway, I say morning. It's actually just gone midday. Today has been a little bit of a slow one. As you guys would normally know, I don't normally sit down only like to start filming at about midday, but I, I am struggling a little bit today. If you follow me on Instagram, follow my stories or anything like that, you will know that this weekend just gone, I got my COVID jab, which is very, very exciting. Um, if you're wondering why I got it like fairly early for my age, it's because I'm asthmatic. So I'm in like, I think the moderate risk category. Um, so yeah, but one thing that actually posting it on Instagram made me realize is just how many people have already had their vaccine. I was having so many DM conversations with you guys who have already had it. So thank you so much if you replied to me. But wow, the side effects from the vaccine are rough. I'm not going to lie. For 24 hours, I just felt like I had the worst flu. I had a fever. I was sweating. I had like hot sweats and cold sweats. You know, when you go from like literally you strip everything off and you're like sweating buckets and then suddenly you start shivering and you're freezing. And you're like wrapping yourself up warm. And poor Alex was feeling my whole forehead going, Ellie, you're not cold. But I was literally shivering and I was like trying to wrap myself up. He was like, stop wrapping yourself up. Like it's going to make you worse. Um, so it's just 24 hours of like flannel on the forehead, paracetamol, on the sofa, not doing much. It was not fun and i'm still feeling like this I'm, I'm still feeling like not fully the side effects but kind of like the um the, like ongoing side effects of it which is just kind of like feeling really lethargic feeling really tired like your whole body feels heavy and this arm feels like it's been through a war zone like it literally i took so long to curl my hair this morning because i mean i curl my hair every single day i'm very used to you know up curling blah 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 i couldn't keep this arm up honestly i was like curling it and i kept being like oh my god i can't keep it up it was so so weird so very grateful to have had it also very grateful to have managed to get it on a Saturday. It just so happened that like that was the appointment that they offered me um because i would have had to take a couple of days off work if i'd had it done on a work day so yeah if you have yours coming up in the pipeline book yourself 24 hours it is literally 24 hours because i had it done at about two ish and at about two on the sunday i started to be able to actually like get off the sofa walk about a bit without feeling like i was going to faint i went and had a shower um and as i said as, although i'm still feeling the side effects it was 24 hours of just straight like fever flu symptoms it was not fun but it's okay i'm just giving myself a bit of a slow day today and it just kind of like getting on with work in a slower pace and a way that kind of just like suits how I'm feeling because yeah I'm feeling really really tired I don't know if you can tell that I have like massive eye bags <laughs> although I actually slept so much better last night I slept so badly on Saturday night but last night I literally conked because I just hadn't slept on the Saturday so yeah feeling much better this morning and I'm feeling very spring like today if you guys have been following along on the vlogs, you'll know that I'm just all about the spring vibes right now. I'm seriously, seriously feeling all the spring content, the spring mood. I'm filling my house with flowers. I've got the peonies that I just put in the living room. And I've also got some peonies in here. Not peonies, tulips. I don't know why I thought of peonies then. Um, yeah, put some tulips up in the living room and tulips in here. Sometimes I forget how pretty tulips are. Like, they're one of those flowers that I think people associate with just kind of like cheap supermarket flowers. But actually... If you do them well, they can look really, really nice. And I really like how they look in the living room when they start to get a little bit floppy and they just like really open up. That's like my favorite, favorite thing. But yeah, feeling all the spring vibes today. We're gonna be doing a bit of shopping for spring today as well. I have some new pieces that I want to show you, especially now that the weather is starting to get a little bit warmer. Like I feel like we're quite consistently staying in like double digits now, which 
that makes me happy that really makes me think spring is here and we can start properly dressing for spring obviously like it does fluctuate and when you're in the uk you still need to bring a coat just in case but just to be able to have like a spring outfit on underneath that for me is the good stuff <laughs> So here are my other tulips that I've put in here. Really gorgeous, like dark pink color, which looks so, so cute. And I've also got them with my new prints. If you watched my Decenio vlog, you would have seen this. Unfortunately, I think the code would have run out by the time this video goes live. Um, but I do just absolutely love them. I think they just fill this space a bit better. It was so funny. I sent my mum a photo and she was like, sorry, I can't tell a difference. I think it's mainly because I've kept this same print. So it looks, it looks similar to before, but still is a little bit different um but i am dressed for spring today as well it's actually fairly warm today i think it's about 12 degrees so i'm like i'm channeling that in my outfit i'm wearing the misguided dress that i featured in my haul you would have seen went live a week today you would have seen it on sunday last week i just love this dress so so much it's so flattering like really slimming here and i just love the flute sleeves if you're someone who doesn't like your arms flute sleeves are just the ultimate option because they just sit really really nicely because they kind of like flute out <laughs> over your arms they make your arms look so much smaller than they are and i just think they're so so flattering but i love this i love how it sits around the bust a few people have asked if they have a bigger bust will it still fit 100 percent, i think it will because like if you can see i do have excess fabric here but because it's supposed to be ruched it kind of works so yeah love this dress so much it's just an absolute fave of mine and it's making me feel very very springy so as i said i have been doing a little bit of shopping for spring and i feel like instagram at the moment is just absolutely filled with this brand and that is revolve it's one of those brands where i love buying pieces from revolve but i feel like in winter i don't know i do like a lot of their pieces but i just feel like there are certain brands that do certain seasons like really really well and i feel like revolve spring summer is their time to shine like their swimsuits their dresses their jumpsuits their tops i just love it like i feel like spring for them is just it's their time to shine and i feel like my instagram has been filled with revolve pieces at the moment i feel like all the cool girls have been talking about revolve at the moment you know there's like cool girls on instagram that you're like i just want to be you like i feel like so many of them have been doing like mini revolve hauls at the moment and it just really really inspired me to have a look on their website and pick up a few new in pieces so i wanted to show you what i picked up i am so so obsessed with what is in this haul so the first thing i'm going to start with i think this is probably my favorite item and it is this absolutely stunning dress. Now I saw this online and I was like, that to me is just early 90s sporty mum vibe. Like, can't you picture this with like little white socks, tennis shoes, and like a little crossbody bag? I'm so, so obsessed with this. Now this is from the brand House of Harlow, which I really, really like House of Harlow. I have a few pieces from them. I don't know if you remember that black dress that I wore to death last summer. I can't wait to bring it out this year. I wore that to death last time. I absolutely loved it. I feel like House of Harlow have some really, really gorgeous pieces. And they are so, so high quality. This is like way higher quality than I was expecting it to be. It's actually double lined. So it's a bit thicker than I was expecting as well. Which actually might make it a bit more of like a spring piece rather than a summer piece. I do sometimes find it can be a little bit difficult to style up like mini dresses in spring. So you're still a little bit chilly. Like it's not quite warm enough for just like a dress and sandals. So I think this is a really really nice option. And I love the colour. Like it's this weird like grey kind of purpley tone. Very very interesting. So I picked this up in a medium. I tend to kind of like run just across the board with revolve i always just tend to go for a medium sometimes their sizing can be a little bit hit or miss so obviously i will be trying on all of these pieces styling them up for you showing them how i would wear them um but yeah i tend to just kind of be a medium across the board on revolve but i just love this dress so gorgeous so 90s i cannot wait to style this up and wear it to death this spring <laughs> oh my god gosh i could not be any more in love with this dress if this is not the epitome of like 90s like oh we're having to do gym at school and like miss i don't 
my plastic surgeon says that he doesn't want any balls flying near my face or the kind of like you know 90s mum coming to pick her kids up from soccer I just love it I love it so much it's so so soft like genuinely I just want to like touch myself <laughs> that weird but I absolutely love it the v-neck actually isn't too deep as well I was a little bit worried about how the v-neck would be it's not too deep at all like I don't feel like I'm exposed or anything I love the little collar detail and I love the like kind of ruching here because I find it's quite flattering just kind of like skims over my stomach I've just chucked on my little wire cell trainers I'd probably wear more like higher up like you know the kind of tennis socks i probably wear them with this because i think that would look really really cute but i love this so much also lengthwise i'm really impressed it's clearly supposed to be very mini because i was a bit worried about how it'd sit but look like that's way higher than most av like especially revolve dresses would ever sit on me i've got like a good hand to my knee which is very unusual so if you're tall this is going to be very very short on you but for us short girls this is absolutely perfect it sits so nicely it's so comfortable it's so cute i am just so so obsessed now the next item you probably would have seen in the back of the clip as i was showing you my dress because i literally just chucked them on the sofa um but it's this pair of jeans now i always get questions about jeans and one of my favorite places to get jeans is girlfriend on revolve now these are actually from is it super down yeah super down which is a brand i really really like and i've never tried their jeans before but so far i've always been quite impressed with revolve denim like all of the brands on revolve their denim seems to be like really really high quality this is not me really really high quality and just like really well made so i wanted to give these a try now they are looking a little bit tiny but i think they might just about fit on my waist i picked them up in a medium most of the jean brands on revolve go by like waist size these were just extra small small medium large do they do an extra large i'm not sure but they weren't like by your waist size but i do sometimes struggle when it comes to waist size because it's supposed to be inches but honestly sometimes i'm a 28 sometimes a 30 sometimes a 29 and i'm like it's supposed to be inches like surely they're all the same but anyway so i've got these in a medium and also one of the reasons was like i feel like a medium will fit is that they're supposed to be very wide leg so i feel like on my thunder thighs they're not going to be too tight there's nothing worse than getting a pair of jeans and then fitting perfectly on your waist but like they can barely go over your bum or your thunder thighs are like like really tight in um also a lot of people sometimes think that i'm insulting myself when i say thunder thighs guys it's not an insult i just know i have like big thighs but i kind of love them i feel like they're really strong and powerful and i call them my thunder thighs because that to me is just like yes um so yeah it's not an insult i sometimes get comments like oh my god no you have lovely thighs i'm like thank you i know <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to try these on. They're a really, really nice, like, not too thick denim, but like they're quite a structured denim, which I quite like. Now, lengthwise, it's going to be a bit hit or miss, but what I like about these is they are distressed hem. So it means if they're too long on me, I can just cut them. I cut a lot of my jeans. I get a lot of DMs about this, about how do I find jeans that fit. I'm like, lengthwise, often they don't. I just cut them. That's why I love the raw hem trend at the moment. So... I have rambled on enough about these. Let's try them on and I'll show you what they look like because I'm obsessed with them. Wow, these jeans. I love them. Now I will say they definitely need a bit of a cut at the bottom because they are just definitely too long. If I stand, obviously I don't have any shoes on, but if I just stand flat, they do kind of hit the floor, which I think if they were black, that would be okay. But I think with white jeans, they are supposed to be a little bit cropped and they're not supposed to kind of like hit exactly on the floor. Um, actually, I don't know, maybe let me put my Balenciagas on. What do we think? Do you think I need to cut them, or could I get away with wearing just, like, chunky trainers? Not entirely sure. I think they look kind of cool with the Balenciagas, though. Like, the fact that they just kind of, like, touch the tops of them. Obviously, they are very chunky trainers, so I wouldn't be able to wear, like, tennis shoes or anything. But, yeah, I love these. They are a little bit tight around the pooch, um, but I think they are the kind of denim that will stretch with a bit of wear. And I do love love the waist it gives me and if you can see there's no gape which is like unheard of so i definitely say these are good jeans for curvier girls thicker thighed girls as i said obviously because they are wide leg they sit quite nicely on my thighs which i really like and i think they make me look quite tall so yeah these jeans are a win i'm a big fan of these 
Now next is a really cute little top, which I've been eyeing up for a while now. I remember, pretty sure this first came out last year and I fell in love with it, but for some reason I didn't, ju I just didn't get it. And obviously like with Revolve, they often redo styles and they redo items and they like bring things out year on year, which is one of the things I just love about them. So I picked this up. I'm obsessed, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning little like polka dot detail, which I just think is so, so cute. It's this ruched off the shoulder top, which again, very summery, very spring-like, but because it has the long sleeves, it makes it very, very spring appropriate. Now it's a bit thinner than I was expecting. It's like a really nice kind of linen-y fabric, which I think is really, really nice. And what I quite like is I think this is the kind of thing you could bring into your summer wardrobe, like in springtime, wear it with jeans and trainers, but then once summer hits, you can style it with shorts or a skirt and sandals. And I think it's really, really cute. I'm I'm interested to see how it's going to fit like off the shoulders if I can wear it on my shoulders because sometimes I do find off the shoulder on shorter girls can slip down a little bit more, maybe are a bit more unflattering so I'll be interested to see how this looks on but I just really really love it on the hanger. I'm hoping it looks as nice in person because it is just absolutely adorable. I'm actually really impressed with this top. Now I've just quickly like untucked it from the jeans just to show you the waistband. Obviously I wouldn't wear it like this, but I think that's what really like cinches it in, it brings it in. It's this really big waistband which sits so perfectly on like the smallest part of my body. So it makes me look obviously a lot more of an hourglass figure and a lot smaller here than I actually am. Now in terms of like the kind of off the shoulder, I think it is quite flattering. I think it's because of the ruched detail, so it's not so stark, like I do often find with stark, you know, cutting straight across, it can be a bit unflattering, but I do really like this. I think it's really, really nice. And you can easily, if you do want to, just kind of like pull it up and wear it just a little bit over your shoulder. You don't have to wear it in like a full bardo style. Now the sleeves are huge, I'm not gonna lie, but they are cuffed, so they don't come over your hands, but it does mean you get quite a big poof near the bottom of your hands but if you can live with that then like it's not really that biggest of deals is it um but yeah I love it I think it's a really really cute like polka dot detail it's very comfortable very stretchy very lightweight and a really really great option for springtime now the next thing I picked up is this absolutely stunning jumpsuit. Now I remember last year Revolve did a white version of this and I fell in love with it. I was so so tempted to get it but I think it was out of stock when I was doing an order. I think that's why I didn't end up getting it, you know, and you can never quite fully remember but I think that was why. But I saw that they've done a black version and I was like, well, <laughs> I need that in my life. You guys know that like I'm such a black girl through and through, even in spring summer I love black items. And this is just gorgeous. It's very, very lightweight, very, very thin. But again, the kind of thing you can easily style up in spring and in summer. If it's a bit chilly, you can always put like a long sleeve top underneath and wear it as more of kind of like an over like jumpsuit, like a more of like dungarees kind of style. And then in summer, you just wear it by yourself with some sliders or some sandals and you look so, so cute. So this one's from Super Down. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that last top. That was from... Majorelle, I love Majorelle. Um, so that top was from Majorelle. This is from Superdown, which as I said, I love Superdown as a brand. In terms of like price-wise on Revolve, I feel like Superdown's on the lower end of Revolve pricing. Like some things on Revolve are really, really spenny. Um, but that's why I love Superdown. I feel like their prices are a bit more like reasonable. Um, but yeah, it's got pockets. It's a really, really nice length. It is supposed to be cropped, but I do find with Revolve pieces, their, especially their jumpsuits, they run really, really long. So the fact that this is supposed to be three quarter length, I feel like a me, it's gonna be full length, but I think it's gonna look cute. I'm hoping it looks cute. Let's sort of keep our fingers crossed that this looks cute. <laughs> oh my giddy antis. That is not something I have said in many years, but I am obsessed with this. This was one of those where I thought, oh yeah, I'll probably like it, like it'll look quite cute, but I didn't expect to like fall in love with it. I have fallen in love with this. It is so, so flattering. Now I've just shoved on a pair of my tennis shoes. This isn't how I would style it up, but I did actually put it on with some black shoes. And then I was like, wait, you can't see the length very well. And I know you guys always wanna know what the length looks like. So I was like, if I put white shoes on, they'll be able to see it. So yeah, lengthwise, love how this is supposed to be three quarter length, but it genuinely hits the floor for me. But it hits the floor like perfectly. Like if you can see it just, 
just skims the floor at the back, which I find quite flattering and also means this is the kind of thing you could style up with heels and it wouldn't be too short. Like, I think you could wear this to a wedding. You could really dress this up or you could dress it down and wear it really casually. Either way, I feel like this is so, so versatile. I love, love, love the silhouette it gives. It really comes in at my waist. Love the fact that it has pockets. We always love pockets. And you guys know I'm a big fan of a square neckline. I find it very flattering on my frame. I think it's because I don't have wide shoulders and it kind of like elongates my chest a little bit and gives me a bit more of like an illusion of this kind of hourglass figure. So I find it really, really flattering. But I also love that it's got these little frills because I feel like it's less like blocky makes it a little bit more feminine and a little bit more thought through so i think it's really really cute i love the wide leg you guys know i love a wide leg i find them so flattering on petite frames i think they make you look so much more tall and so much more tall so much taller than you are and is just really elongating that's something you guys know i do kind of like look towards when it comes to outfits is an elongating like figure and i think this is just the most stunning elongated jumpsuit i could ever ask for i'm literally just staring at myself in the mirror like wow who knew she had that figure but yeah i love i love i love and then the last item to show you is this dress and i'm not gonna lie this arrived and it is completely different to how i expected it to look that is one thing that i always really struggle with online is when you're shopping it's like you can't get a proper feel of what the fabrics are like and online i thought this was going to be quite a stiff fabric and it's arrived and i'm like oh my gosh it's like a t-shirt fabric like a really soft really stretchy fabric now this is from l'academy which i've shopped at a few times and i've always been really really impressed with their pieces so i think this is going to be nice i'm hoping it's going to be nice it could be one of those items where if you're like very slim and like straight up straight down it'll work if you've got curves that they might sit on the wrong places but all we can do is try it on and see. So it's got this cute little detail at the side so you can cinch in the waist, which I think is really cool. I bet if you wanted to, you could kind of pull it along that way. Um, I'll be interested to see how this kind of styles on. As I said, totally different to what I was expecting, but I'm hoping, hoping it's gonna look nice because this, if it looks nice, this will be the comfiest spring dress I've ever owned. <laughs> okay, I... I'm here for this. I like this. I think it's really, really cute. I mean, it's not like dressy or anything, but this is like a really nice, just very basic spring dress. The kind of thing that's just going to be really, really comfortable and keep you nice and cool in summer. And it's so, so soft. I love it. I'm not going to lie. I did have to like look online and double check how you're supposed to style up this belt section because in my head it was supposed to be that way, but it's not. You tie it like over and then you just kind of like give it a little bow. I'm not sure if I've tied it that well. I might have to like practice that a little bit because yeah i'm not so sure if it's like the most flattering around my waist but i do really like it i like how like floaty it is and just very very easy the kind of thing again i would just wear with a tennis skirt and a crossbody bag if i'm just like going for a walk and it's really hot and i just want to be really comfortable but still look quite cute like i do think this is a very very cute outfit um and it also could be styled up really nicely like there's lots of different ways you can style this up um so yeah i like this i think this is an absolute win i think it's really really cute and definitely the kind of thing i'm going to get a lot of wear out of in spring okay. now the last item to show you isn't actually new as part of this haul it has actually been in my wardrobe for a year and a bit now and it's this absolutely stunning really really cute satin mini skirt with this stark print detail i love it so so much and as i said it's been in my wardrobe for about a year and the best thing about revolve is it restocks items so so frequently and brings them back and they have brought back this skirt which is so exciting because every time i wear this skirt i get so so many compliments so many dms from you guys so many people ask me where it's from and i just love it to pieces the only thing i will say about this skirt is size up in it it is a little bit undersized, so I've got a large in this one. I found the medium was just a bit too tight, pinched a bit too much, and kind of like sat on the podge, which is not a flattering look. So I would say size up in this one. It doesn't have any like stretch or give, so you're not going to want it to be too tight on you, but I just love it so, so much. It's such a gorgeous skirt. Really, really lightweight and really easy to style up again in spring and summer. You can style it up in spring with like a roll neck, a jumper, some trainers, and then in summer, a little cami top 
and some sliders and you look so so cute so i'm obsessed with this i'm so excited that revolve have brought it back and everyone needs to get their hands on this skirt and then just to show you my favorite skirt i've literally just chucked it on with this black jumper this is like my favorite way to style this skirt up with just like a big chunky jumper over the top for spring it is so so great i do find i don't know if anyone else is like that but i find like if the top half of me is warm i can kind of like sacrifice at the bottom half i don't know what it is i think it's because when I was a kid, my mum would always be like, make sure your chest is covered, like, make sure your chest is warm. And so in my head, I'm like, as long as my chest is warm, the rest of me will be fine. Um, but yeah, all I've done is the, like, bra trick with this jumper, because I won't lie, because this is a satin skirt, if you are looking to, like, tuck the jumper in, it will show. So I'd say if you're looking for, like, a chunky jumper, do the bra trick to tuck it up. But I just love this. I love the length as well. It's, like, a really nice length on me, very, like mid thigh again if you're a taller girl it will come up very short on you but i think it's cute i think it's really really cute i love the print i love the like star detail on it i think it's absolutely adorable you, like, you can see the <laughs> the box that everything came in um but i love the star print i love how it just sits really nice it's like kind of a skater skirt but it's not because it's like satin and it doesn't have the full pleats but just the way it falls it's so flattering so cute so easy to style how many times can i say the word so but i am obsessed with it i love it so so much honestly all this spring shopping is just making me so excited for all this warm weather that's to come and the fact that we're going to be able to just go outside a little bit more go on walks with friends like i'm pretty sure i can't remember what the exact dates are with the kind of like timeline just like the prospect of going out getting a takeaway coffee iced coffee it's warm if it's warm enough and just sitting on a bench with a friend seeing some people being able to like socialize a little bit more it's just making me so so excited so i've just finished filming the haul and alex has called me in for lunch and oh, i just love the afternoon light in this flat look at that sun streaming in my tulips are soaking up the sunlight it looks so spring-like in here i am just absolutely loving it honestly it's just my favorite thing is the way that the sun hits this flat i love it so so much so it's a little while later now um and I just had some lunch and i'm feeling very nice and full and i have just had arrive something that first of all i did not think was going to be coming today i actually had an email from the brand being like so it's arriving today like it was ready much sooner than we thought which is amazing and it's probably one of the most exciting unboxings i'm just ever going to be doing on this channel like i genuinely cannot believe it i must admit there are definite like there are serious moments in this job where you just kind of like sit there and you're like this is my job like i get to do this as a job i mean i hit 70k on instagram the other week and i honestly just sat there in disbelief for a good 10 minutes just like 70,000 people want to follow me that just blows my mind like I genuinely can't believe that there are so many of you now and here on YouTube we've hit 6.5k at subscribers which is just crazy like this time last year I wasn't even at 1k like I'd only just started taking this channel seriously and I'd only just started like vlogging so to have hit 6.5k already just is absolutely insane so first of all i just want to say thank you so much to you guys for all of your support all of your kind comments your messages like every time you shop through my link every time you comment on a post every time you watch a video like you don't realize that that is what makes this job like that's what lets me do these amazing collaborations and like work with these amazing brands and yeah i can't ever be grateful enough for you guys so on that note, I am so excited to let you know that this next part of the video is an integrated advertorial with Purely Diamonds. And the fact that I'm sitting here saying this, I, I still need to pinch myself. I still cannot believe it is real. If you guys know, I am such a diamond girl. I'm such a dainty jewellery kind of a girl. Like, I love simplistic jewellery. I love statement pieces that aren't statement in a way that's like whoa they're really big but in a way that's like they're so elegant and subtle and detailed like i got this necklace from alex for my birthday and it's the first diamond item that i've like ever owned 
and I just love it to absolute pieces. Like it's so elegant, it's so tiny and dainty, it goes with everything. And I feel like that's the beauty of diamonds is they just go with absolutely everything and they can be worn all of the time. Like they don't ever date, they don't ever go out of style. Like diamonds really are a girl's best friend, let's be honest. They are the kind of thing that just is so amazing to receive, so amazing to treat yourself to, and so amazing just to like be able to wear and style up. Alex's mum actually has a stunning diamond bracelet that I have admired for so, so long, and she's always called it her Lifetime Achievement Award. So I feel like what's in this box is my lifetime achievement award like this this is my lifetime achievement award this is the kind of thing that i'm just going to keep forever and ever and ever so i thought we could do a little bit of an unboxing to show you what's inside of here because this is such a moment for me like this, this is such a big moment and i know you guys love an unboxing i love an unboxing too so i thought we could do a full a full unboxing of what's inside here I just need to sit here like this for like a solid day <laughs> and just take in the beauty that is this bracelet this is just absolutely stunning so as you would have just seen up from that unboxing I picked myself up a gorgeous tennis bracelet so I know you guys are going to ask about the intricacies of the bracelet so these are dazzling round brilliant cut diamonds in the tennis bracelet with a four claw clasp and they are in 18 karat white gold. That was a math four and a half. I literally had to like write it down so I would remember to tell you guys. Because obviously when you are buying diamonds, you do want to know like everything about them, but they are just the most stunning, the most stunning diamonds I've ever seen in my life. And I really, really like the four claw clasp. It's actually a clasp that I only kind of like looked into because my mum's wedding ring is in a four claw clasp. And I just think it's like, I just think it looks really, really classic and really, really elegant. I love how the clasp makes it kind of look like the diamonds are a bit more open, but still keeps them secure, still keeps them like very firmly in. You don't have to worry too much about when you wear this. I just absolutely love them. And I just love purely diamonds customer service it is so so brilliant and their site is an amazing site to look for if you are looking for diamond jewelry i know that mother's day has just gone but if you are looking for birthday presents or alternatively if you're looking to treat yourself to a lifetime achievement award then i would definitely recommend checking out purely diamonds and they've actually been so so kind to offer me a discount code for you guys if you want to get 10% off non-financed items use the code pdle 10 I will put that on the screen now and I'll also put it in the description box below along with the link to this particular bracelet and to purely diamonds site honestly guys they just have the most gorgeous collection they've got bracelets they've got necklaces they've got earrings and They've also got a lot of diamond and pearl combinations, which I know a lot of you are going to love. I feel like the diamond pearl combo is such a classic combo with like a hint of like a trend, like a bit of a twist of a trend, which I really, really like. But for me, I just wanted something really, really classic, something that I would wear time and time again that I could pass on to my grandchildren and I would just get so, so much wear out of. It's going to go with so so many outfits and it's just going to be that like talking piece that really stunning piece that just completes a look and that is what diamonds are all about for me just something really classic really dainty and elegant and simple but does all the talking i 
absolutely love that about this bracelet so make sure to check out purely diamonds go to their website and have a look because they have a massive range as well of like price points and items if you're looking for like a smaller gift or if you're looking for something very very extravagant i would definitely recommend it checking them out and just how stunning as well is the packaging i feel like to me blue just screams diamonds like i love this kind of like pale blue i just think it looks so so gorgeous just looks so so elegant i am just absolutely bestotted so i'm gonna show you what it looks like on layer it up a little bit and show you how i will style this bracelet i'm not gonna lie i thought i would want to layer this up with other pieces and kind of like have it as a layering piece but actually it's so dainty and elegant i love how it looks just by itself i think the four claw closure is really really elegant and very very classic and it's got a really nice clasp as well here so you know it's not going to fall off like it won't come loose it's got like it clips in and then you've got these two clips at the side which is absolutely fabulous and i just really really like how it looks it's like just kind of like drapes over your hand obviously like this and i just think that is so so elegant and yeah this is the kind of thing that you will just have for years and years to come you will pass down to your children and they will pass down to their grandchildren it is just absolutely stunning i feel like we have had a lot of excitement in today's video it's a little bit later now and i'm actually just lying in bed because i hit a bit of a wall <laughs> I think I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be taking it easy today and I got a bit haphazard with looking after myself and I got a bit kind of too much and I just kind of hit a bit of a wall and I was like oh I just need to just need to lie in bed and just think about nothing for a little while so here we are <laughs> so I thought I would quickly pick up the camera and say goodbye to you guys before the makeup comes off and the jammies go on and I completely forget about this vlog so i really hope you enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed seeing what i've been picking up for spring and probably the most exciting unboxing i'll ever do on this channel i'm so so grateful for purely diamonds for working with me on this video and also for offering such an amazing discount code for you guys it's literally like diamond retailers never offer discount codes like they never ever do these kinds of things so for them to offer 10 percent is just insane like 10 percent off diamonds is such a big saving it's absolutely amazing so, so i'm so so grateful for purely diamonds and i really hope you guys get to really utilize that discount code it does run out on the 18th it's only valid until the 18th of march so do make sure to make your diamond purchases before that date so you can make the most of the saving whether you're buying a present for someone else or treating yourself you know all about the treat yourself would definitely definitely recommend doing it whilst you can still get the discount code and on that note i'm gonna leave this vlog here i'm gonna go and have a little bit of a nap <laughs> and let myself recover but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new around here i'd love it if you subscribed come and join us make sure to have the notification bell on as well so you know that Whenever I upload a video, you're never going to miss it. Honestly, I feel like my eye is twitching. It's getting to that stage. I definitely need to go have a nap. Bye, guys.